If there is an underrated Zeppelin album, it's got to be the Presence album. There's so many cool tracks. You know, everyone always focuses on Zeppelin 1, 2, 3, uh, Physical Graffiti, all great albums. But Presence, so many cool riffs. And the most underrated riff has to be For Your Love. <laughs> couple of them to show you guys. One of the things I thought was cool was I've, I've watched a couple of video lessons on it and then you watch Paige play it live and he plays it different than everyone else. And there's a part, huge part of confusion which is this, you know, some people play it like this and some want to go and I think Paige plays it both ways. On the recording you hear two guitars. There's a left and right guitar. So one guitar is definitely super jangly going like that and the other guitar is way more simple and I believe they're just going just like that so it's two different guitar parts so you can kind of choose to play it whatever you want Paige actually slides up to this I saw a lot of people not doing that so let's break down what he's doing here and I'll talk a little bit more about that live version you can see it they only play it once so that's all we have to go off of but pretty much the start of the riff is all the way up here it's this really cool breakdown Page hits this A5 chord, boom, and he slides up here, which is this little chromatic walk-up. So you go A5, up here, and you're gonna go five, six, seven on the D. Then you're gonna do a double stop on fifth fret of the G and the B, then back to seventh fret on the D. Now, forever, I've played this riff like this, using my thumb over the neck. In the live video, you can see Page clearly hits an A5, and I was like, you know what? It does sound different going. You get this little like whoosh kind of like build into the note versus kind of already being there. It just adds that little bit of grit, that page factor to it. So, okay, so you have that part and you go more double stops. Seventh fret on the G twice back to uh, fifth fret on the G and the B. So, okay, so you have all that going on and he just kind of repeats that over and over again till the final time when he does it four times in a row. Big old G chord. Page might be using his thumb over the top. Not sure. Then here's that walk down part. Like I said, I really feel like there's two guitars playing it two completely different ways. So I always play it like this. Now what's happening is it's this little descending run. You're going to go 3rd fret on the D to open G, 2nd fret on the D, open G. And in the live version, it looks like Paige slides up. Instead of hitting that open D string, you know, it looks like he goes up to 5th fret on the A, followed by an open G, down to 3rd fret, and it just chills there for a second. So, and then, little like funky, I don't even know what to call it, just a cool, it's Paige adding that little tagline at the end of his riffs. You're gonna go first fret on the A, pull off to open, third fret to first fret on the low E, and then do 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 do, I don't even I don't know how many times he does it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, yeah, four times on the third fret, one on the first fret, back to three. It's tabbed out, use the tabs, because that part is confusing to explain. Okay, now like I said before, I'm pretty sure there's two guitar parts happening. The other guitar is kind of hitting this F sus2 chord. So you're gonna hold down third fret on the D, open G, and then first fret on the B. Okay, so you hear, listen, I'm telling you, left speaker, I think it's a left speaker, is this. Okay, and he does it real quick. Now that one, I feel like he's not sliding up. He's just playing it open. So you have just walking right through the chord, second fret on the D, open. Still that big rest on that third fret, and then that part stays exactly the same. Now what's kind of cool, in the live video when you see Paige, he's doing this real like slanky strumming thing. I don't know, it's almost like he doesn't care what notes he's hitting. It's really cool. He's like, 
Um, I can't play it. It just sounds bad when I play it. When he plays it, it sounds cool. So anyways, For Your Love, learn the whole thing. The opening riff is cool. I'm pretty sure he played it on a Strat. Um, my Strat's not here right now, so I, you know, rocking the Les Paul. But you can hear him do whammy bar stuff in there. So he's doing something with the tremolo. I'm pretty sure it was his 64 uh, Lake Placid Blue Strat. But anyways, I'm going to bounce on out of here. If you guys would, get the tabs. Link down below. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Yo, I'll see you all next time. Later, homies. Peace. Into bluesy.